So what I wanted to say was, as you guys know, if you've watched my other videos, I made mention to the fact that my brother and his wife and their children, my nephews, were on vacation in Disney World. And the plan was my mom went down with them and then she was going to go, they wanted to have just like the four of them like a family vacation and have some bonding time and just be together because, you know, crazy, hectic working parents, you know, they just wanted some quality family time. So my mom um, was just going to get them settled in, get them the rental car, get them settled in the resort and then like drive down to our condo in Naples and then my dad and I we were gonna I was thinking about going down Friday but when my mom got to um the airport and my aunt called her and said hurricane hurricane <laughs> like I said my mom was hardly there like she came back um oh wow she we went to my grandma's that my mom got back my grandma practically like kissed her feet she's like oh thank god you're here um and i was glad too because and and when storms like these where i live it's like rare so everybody like goes in a total panic freak out mode and there's literally like you can't find any d batteries anywhere like water like everything like trying to get supplies to prep and my mom She's like, oh, whenever they make a big deal out of it and everyone goes, like, nutso, like, it usually turns out to be nothing, and it's when they, like, say nothing and do nothing that, like, you have to worry. That's been my mom's, like, um, experience, I guess you could say, but my neighbors, the one who's real excited for it, and the other one's like, well, with all this money that we're putting into it and all this preparation, like, some, like, something better come, like, a through otherwise like what do we waste all that for so we did have hurricane irene like it was in august i think my dad said of last year but we didn't lose power we had like minimal damage like it was nothing like um hurricane sandy or superstorm sandy or frankenstorm or whatever you want to call it um it was definitely a lot worse and there's my street and then across the street that street we think there was a microburst because they had had it the worst and they say like with hurricanes there can be like tornado or funnel clouds is it a funnel cloud i don't know you know like a twister like a so um my mom got back and Due to the storm, my brother and sister and I, so my sister-in-law, um, I'm the sister here, people. Ah, I'm the baby sister. Um, stay, the, the, I guess it was going to be like a five day, but they ended up staying a week, so like seven days, whatever. And we kept on encouraging them to stay in Florida, even if they had to like drive to Naples and stay at the condo. Just like stay in Florida, right? Because they didn't understand like how bad it was nor did they prepare any in any way shape or form at all before they left you know so um we kept like yeah stay there you gotta stay there and they really wanted to come home and we're like you don't know what you're coming home to or what or a lack of what you're coming home to there's no power there's no heat there's no hot water you're lucky if you have water you know stay in Florida and she and the um and my sister in law is like, Well, I gotta go to work and we're like, Work You're lucky if you can even get there with all the trees down and we'll be surprised if if it's even open, if they even have power. Like, no, you're not gonna work. Like stay in Florida but she they didn't under they underestimated how bad it was and then they spent the first night here and they were like, Wow because their house is, like, really cold, and they don't have any flashlights. They have, like, nothing. So, we tried and tried and tried. But they they came home, and now they're, like, finally understanding, like, this is big deal. 
but luckily, you know, we got them the hotel room, and they're really grateful. And my mom's friend, she's really grateful because where she lives in her community, it's like deserted because everybody went to go be with their family who had power in like Pennsylvania and other places. So there's like hardly anyone over there in her complex. So she's there in the day to take care of her cat and whatnot. And then she comes and spends the night and hangs out with us. So that, and, and we have fun and we laugh. Um, So, we try, yeah, we try to talk him into staying, but no, and now my mom, <laughs> it was like, as soon as the power went out on Monday night, she's like, let's go to Florida, let's get out of here, and I'm like, how? There's no flights, it's still a hurt, hurt, whatever, the sandy thing is still going on. So, um, my mom would like to get out of here and go to Florida, and I'm thinking I'm not that far behind her. And, um, you, you'll, you're seeing that I'm making a lot of videos at once, um, and uploading them at once, and that is because the only Wi-Fi and power is at the hotel, and this could potentially be my last night there, and while I was home for those days and nights without power, all I could do is really film. So that's what I did, and then I uploaded those, and now I want to continue my journey here with these video diaries um, of the aftermath of Sandy, and and um, and then I so wherever I am, you know, I'll film, I'll film and then um, upload it on the computer back at the hotel. So. That's why you might see a bunch at once. And when my friends get their power back and they can go on Facebook, they can see all this. Because I really, I've had no one to talk to friend-wise. Because no one's had power or it's like, you gotta, or when I was home and you could charge in your phone, you know, was it was a, um, in a, I don't know what it was, it was like a treat <laughs> when you got to charge your cell phone, so you didn't want to waste your battery, like, calling people, so, or texting them, so anyway, that's why there's, like, multiple videos, and that's, like, that's why, but anyway, I just wanted to say, let's wrap this up, I just wanted to say that in the beginning, we definitely tried to warn them, and I was talking to Dan, and I don't think he realizes how bad it is. I think now he's just starting to finally get get it a little bit, but I don't think he totally did in the beginning, because I was, like, saying, I was talking about gas, and he's like, oh, gas is cheap down here. I'm like, well, at least you have gas. So, <laughs> thanks for watching.